Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Effective tomorrow, fuel prices will see marginal increases. A litre of 87 and 90 gasoline will sell for 25 cents more, reversing last week's decline of the same value. Diesel will sell for 10 cents more, while ultra-low sulfur diesel will go up by 25 cents. Kerosene will sell for 25 cents more per litre. Propane will, however, decline by $1.84, while butane will decrease by $2.47. Each gas station will make adjustments to its own rates. The newly appointed president of the World Bank, Ajay Banga, says the entity is looking at opportunities to strengthen its relationship with Jamaica. Speaking to journalists at a site visit in Manchester, Mr. Banga says preliminary discussions have started. Javon Keyes was there. Just 12 days on the job and the newly minted president of the World Bank, Ajay Banga, is in Jamaica. It's historic as it's the first World Bank president to visit the country in an official capacity in the 60-year history of relations between Jamaica and the multilateral agency. His visit is part of his global impact tour happening between now and December 2023. The World Bank president is in Jamaica as a part of strategic tours looking at how various stakeholders within the world World Bank Group are being engaged. Now, during his tour here, he's made his way to Williams Field in Manchester to engage with a few farmers in a program that has been supported by the World Bank. But additionally, the World Bank president says he's been engaged in discussions with members of government about some key strategic partnerships. Preliminary talks started on Tuesday with Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark. The most important thing that came out to me was development in people, edu investing in people, education. What he means by education obviously is uh, primary education, early stages, but also at the right time, the right kind of skilling for people that makes sense with the job opportunities that should come up in Jamaica. I found that to be sensible and practical, makes sense to me. Second thing we talked about was uh, digitization and how we have to work on digitizing not the population only, sorry, but also the, the government itself so that citizens can see more transparency in government, ministers can drive their departments better, so that everybody benefits. He says electricity and climate resilience were other areas discussed. Electricity at an affordable price is the starting point of development. So he's very focused on that, and he's very focused on using public-private partnerships so that he runs the country with macro fiscal prudence but at the same time brings a great deal of resources to bear on the real problems that he thinks that Jamaica needs to talk about. Final item, climate resilience. Uh, all of these countries are in places where one hurricane can damage your GDP in double digits. And everything we see today changes in three hours. He says as the World Bank continues to advance global development to include support for various projects and more partnerships with the private sector, he hopes for continued discussions towards helping various countries, including small island developing states like Jamaica, advance the global development goals. Javon Keyes, TVJ News. The U.S. currency is being sold for an average $155.39. $116.63 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar, and the average cost for the pound is $194.83. The average selling rate for the euro is $170.17. To the stock market now, the JSE index lost 1,861 points today, while the junior market index gained 22 points. Among the 40 winners, ISP Finance Services, Epley 7.25% preference shares, Sterling Investments US dollar shares, Stationery and Office Supplies, and Blue Power Group. While the 50 decliners include Margaritaville Turks US dollar shares, iCreate, Cygnus Credit Investments, T Tech and JMMB Group, 15 stocks traded firm. And that's it for the business day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.